ay Francisco Dumagoso by virtue of the power vested in me by law hereby orders the 48-hour shutdown from 8 p.m. of April 23 until 8 p.m. of April 25 of 2020 of the entire Sampaloc District of mga kababayan Misan sa buhay natin ay kailangan tayong gumawa ng mga bagay na kakaiba para magkaroon din ng ibang resulta. Susubok tayo na baka sakali na ito ay isang mabuting pamamaraan o epektibong pamamaraan. Walang nakapaggagarantiya pero wala rin namang masamang sumubok. Sapagkat sa maraming araw na aking pagre-report sa inyo, nagpag-update sa inyo, Akin pong laging sinasabi na walang lathalalay, la, mga kasulatan, libro, pamamaraan, natiyak kung paano mapagtatagumpayan ang isang krisis na katulad na kinakarap natin na tinawag ng World Health Organization na isang pandemic. The last time that we had this in our world was 1920. So, marami sa atin ay hindi pamilyar at wala pong presidente, vice president, cabinet secretary, senator, congressman, mayor, governor ang nakakalam ng tunay na pamamaraan para maresolba ang sitwasyon o ganitong krisis na ating kinakaharap. Sapagkat hindi rin kaila sa inyo, sinabi rin ng World Health Organization na wala pang gamot. sa COVID-19. At ang isang pagpapatunay dyan, hindi dahil sa mahina ang ating mga leader sa ating syudad, probinsya, o pamahalaan sa nasyonal. Ang pagpapatunay dyan, pati ang mga matatayong na bansa tulad ng Estados Unidos, makapangyarihan, lahat ng scientifico ay nasa kanila na, resources ay nasa kanila na. Pero, magpasa hanggang ngayon, sila po ay nasa krisis at mas mabigat ang kanilang kinakaharap. Ganon din sa Europa at sa ating mga kapit bayan dito sa rehiyon ng Asia. Kaya po, mga kababayan, ako po yung hinihikayat ko kayo na makiisa sa gagawin natin sa Sampalo. A few minutes ago, akin na pong pinirmahan ang bagong executive order ng ating lungsod. At nais ko pong uh, basahin sa inyo ang executive order na ito. And I hope you don't mind to continue watching and listening carefully. And kung may pagkakataon ay uh, kung di man kalabisan, uh, please share this uh, information for proper guidance ng ating mga kababayan. Uh, hindi lang sa Sampalok, pati na rin sa buong Maynila. An order providing a 48-hour shutdown in the entire Sampalok District of Manila from 8 p.m. of April 23, 2020 until 8 p.m. of April 25, 2020 for purposes of Disease, surveillance, verification, or testing, and rapid risk assessment in relation to COVID-19. Bigo sabihin, sa Webes, alas 8 ng gabi, magsisimula. Whereas, under Section 15, Article 2 of the Philippine Constitution, it is the state's policy to protect and promote the right to help of the people. Whereas Republic Act RA 11332, otherwise known as mandatory reporting of notifiable diseases and health events of public health concern act, provides that the state shall endeavor to protect the people from public health threats through the efficient and effective disease surveillance of notifiable diseases, including emerging infectious diseases and provide 
an effective response in compliance with international standards. Further, the state recognized public health emergency as threats to public health and national security. Whereas, Section 3, open close parenthesis, N of RA 11332, defines response as the implementation of specific activities to control further spread of infectious outbreaks or epidemics, prevent reoccurrence. It includes verification, rapid risk assessment activities, among others. Whereas Section 6, open close parenthesis E, RA 11.332 provides that DOH and its local counterparts have the statutory and regulatory authority to enforce, among others, rapid containment, quarantine, and isolation, disease prevention, and control measures and response activities for events of public health concern. Whereas, President Rodrigo R. Duterte, Rodrigo R. Duterte issued Proclamation Number 922-2020, declaring a state of public health emergency throughout the Philippines in view of the COVID-19. Under Presidential Proclamation Number 922, the spread of COVID-19 was considered as an emergency that threatens the national security. This declaration capacitated local government units to immediate act, immediately act to prevent loss of life, utilize appropriate resources to implement urgent and critical measures to contain or prevent the spread of COVID-19 as well as to mitigate its effect and impact to the community. Whereas, as early as April 8, there have been about 67 positive cases reported in Sampaloc District of Manila. On April 19, these numbers continue to rise with a total of 98 positive cases and 158 suspected cases in the area. Whereas, under Section 455, open close parenthesis letter B, open parenthesis number one, open, parent, open and close parenthesis Roman numeral number seven of the local government code, the city mayor is empowered to carry out such emergency measures as may be necessary during and in the aftermath of man-made and natural disasters and calamities. Now, therefore, I, Francisco Dumagoso, by virtue of the power vested in me by law, in order to contain the spread and mitigate any adverse effect of COVID-19, hereby orders the 48-hour shutdown, or mas madali nyo maintindihan, hard lockdown. From 8 p.m. of April 23 until 8 p.m. of April 25 of 2020 of the entire Sampaloc District of Manila. For purposes of disease surveillance, verification or testing, and rapid risk assessment as the city's response, measures to be to the imminent danger posed by COVID-19 to the said locality as well as the entire city. During the shutdown period, during the shutdown period, all residents of the said district shall be strictly confined to their residence 
and are prohibit, prohibited from going out of their houses except the following. A. Health workers residing in the, the district such as doctors, nurses, hospital, clinic aides, and laboratory and dialysis technician during a health-related emergency. B. Officers and members of PNP, AFP, PCG, and government workers rendering emergency frontline services, border control, and other critical services. Letter C. Service workers who are working in pharmacies, drug stores, and that care service establishment. Letter D. The officers of barangay, chairpersons, barangay secretaries, barangay treasurers, tagawads, and the executive officers, o mas kilala natin as XO, yung head po ng mga tanod. Letter E, workers in the media industry, duly accredited by the Presidential Communication Operations Office and IATF. All other commercial, industrial, retail institutional, re retail institutional and other activities not mentioned in the above exemptions in the said district shall be suspended within the specific or specified period of the shutdown. Further, pursuant to the power of operational supervision and control of the city mayor over Philippine National Police, units in their respective jurisdiction, station commanders of police stations in the said district are hereby directed to employ and deploy officers and personnel in strategic location and areas in the district necessary for the effective implementation of the shutdown as identified under the approved concept of operation. This executive order shall take effect immediately signed by yours truly. Kaya po mga kababayan, yan po ang nilalaman ng ating executive order. I hope malinaw po sa ating lahat. Kaya po inagahan namin ang aming announcement para nang sa ganoon ay magkaroon kayo ng mga preparasyon at ang inyong likod naman, meron pa tayong uh, mga a few thousands individuals or I mean families that needs to be addressed today and tomorrow. And I hope two days is enough for you to prepare for the shutdown or hard lockdown of the entire Sampaloc on Thursday. Ulitin ko po, no? Webes. Hanggang biyernes, wala pong lalabas ng bahay, kinakansila po namin ang lahat ng inyong mga quarantine pass na ginagamit sa araw. At hinihikayat po namin kayo na bilhin nyo na ang inyong mga gamit ngayong araw na ito, bukas o sa Webes ng umaga. Dahil pagdating ng gabi, ay tayo na po ay magpapatupad. Kapag hindi po kayo napapabilang sa mga exempted, ang isang konsiderasyon nyo, hindi po kayo pwedeng lumabas. At kung sakali na meron namang lalabag pa rin, kayo po ay aming dadalhin sa isang holding facilities Instead, nadali namin kayo sa mga jail room ng mga presinto at baka makahawa pa kayo sa aming mga polis 
at sa aming mga uh, nakakulong sa mga jailhouse ng aming mga presinto, kayo po ay ilalagay sa isang sports complex. Sama-sama kayong ilalagay doon at mananatili kayo doon hanggat meron po tayong hanggat epektibo po yung ating executive order. Ayaw po natin gawin yun. Sapagkat hindi naman po mahirap ang ipinakikiusap sa inyo ng tamalaan. Alam ko pong gusto nyo ng makaahon sa kinalalagyan natin ngayon. Sa pagkayamot, pagkainip, at alam kong gusto nyo ng bumalik sa normal at umpisa ng makapagtrabaho. Sa aming pong palagay, sa masusing pag-aaral, at sa maliit namin kaalaman, isa ito sa mga makakatulong na kung saan and hoping na mapababa natin ang bilang ng contagion ng nasabing virus na COVID-19. So muli sa ating mga kababayan sa Palo, minsan maasim man ang suka, kailangan nating inumin. Kailangan nating magkaisa. Tulong-tulong tayo. Tumasa kayo sa maliit naming kaparaanan ay uh, lagi ninyong kaagapay ang inyong pamalang lungsod, pamalang nasyonal sa pamumuno ni Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Yan lamang po at sana nagkakaunawaan tayo at sana sapat na ang impormasyon at sapat na ang panahon na ibinigay namin sa inyo para kayo'y makapaganda. Ngayon, kung sa tingin niyo po ang inyong mga kaibigan, kakilala at mga mahal sa buhay, ay hindi nakapanood ng broadcast na ito, nakikisuyo po ako. Please share it to them. And please watch the entire broadcast for proper information dissemination and guidance of everybody. So muli sa inyo po, Nananawagan po ako. Katulad ng panawagan ng Pangulo. Solidarity o pagkakaisa. Kaya po natin ito. Mahirap, hindi madali, maraming sakripisyo. Pero pasasaan ba? May awa ang Diyos. Makakaraos din po tayo. Magandang araw po. Pagpalain nawa kayo ng poong may kapal. Manila. God first.